Yeah, I was, I was, uh, I was the voice actor of Kermit once. <laughs> I'm joking. <gasps> and here she stands, still here, looking out into the sea, looking at the scenery. <laughs> What's up, bruh? What's up, yo? What's going on? What's going on? Ah, oh, it's you two again. I must say, you look a bit pale. Did you have trouble sleeping last night? Um, a little bit of nightmares, yeah, sure. Paimon, like, kicked me in, in, in her sleep. Uh, a little. Perhaps if you had less on your mind, you'd be able to absolve yourself of such troubles. So what are you planning to do now? Catch up on some sleep? Or should I give you some time to rack your brain for a topic to discuss before I ask any questions? Although I must profess to being curious. Without child here... How do you plan on distracting me? Oh, oh yeah, we cooked. Lenny, 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 run, run, we're cooked, we're cooked. Us? Distract you? <laughs> A g good one. But no, um, we were just. Lenny, just run, run, man, run. She knows. Hmm. Looks like you could have used some extra time to think. No matter. If you don't have any other plans, why don't you accompany me somewhere? Okay, it looks like we're gonna go to die. Alright, I'm gonna to my thing. Don't worry. I'll be sure to steer clear of any scheming children. Okay, I, I, it's over. It's over. Sure, sure. Just, yeah. <sighs> okay. The ocean breeze is sure nice today. So you know everything then. Children always think they can hide things from the grown-ups. But nothing gets past me. Least of all, a little scheming. I think I'll let them have at it for a little longer. I can be very patient. Um. How about this? We, we, let's make a deal. Let, let's play. Let's play. Uh. Uh. What will you call it? Um. Do, do you guys even have that? Rock paper scissors. Yeah, that's what it's called. I, I for some reason I forgot that. I don't know why, but um. How about we do rock paper scissors? If I win. You don't know anything. You just, you just forget about this, okay? You just forget about this. If I lose, then I win anyway. Well, I'll leave you to think things over. If you're so inclined, meet me outside the Palais Mermonia. Well, she's probably gonna tell us the truth or something about something. Good things come to children who do as they're told. So I do hope you decide to tag along, if only for your friends' sakes. Oh, okay, okay, it's a threat. It's a threat now. Okay, okay, I see how this is. Alright, alright. Alright, man. What should we do? It's what he does. She clearly knows about everything we've been doing, and Paimon doesn't think it'd be a stretch to say she was threatening us just now. We should release the pigeon that Lenny gave us. Goodbye, little birdie. Oh, good idea. Hopefully, he sees it in time. Well, we should probably head to the Palais Mermonia. Paimon doesn't want to find out what happens if we don't show up. Based on what the knave was saying just now, it sure didn't seem like it'd be anything good. Ah, uh, well, we really don't have any other options. Guess we'll have to do, uh, guess all we can do is take it one step at a time. Okay, then we probably shouldn't keep her waiting. It seems like Linny and the others are on thin ice, so let's do our best to not get them in any more trouble. Here we go. Here we go. We're going to get cooked, you guys. This is going to be so much fun. I'm ready to get burned. When Pyro meets Dendro, burial occurs. Burning deals continuous Pyro damage. Thank you. That's that's amazing. Did you guys know? Did you guys know? Seeing as we still have some time before my meeting, we might as well enjoy some pleasant conversation while we wait. Sure. I'm glad to see you get along with my children. Being surrounded by good companions is necessary for a child's development. Uh-huh. You're not planning on doing anything to them, are you? I assume you're referring to Lenny, Lynette, and Fremine. Me? Yeah. Although... There's that situation with Filial and Nentoy as well. Mm. 
It appears quite a few people have been acting out lately. No matter. I'm not one to discriminate. All those who betray the house meet the same fate. Oh. There are no exceptions. Oh, 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 oh. Hold on, hold on, please. Hold on, hold on. Let, 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 us, let us talk about Does this. that mean you're going to kill them? And now she's like, what? What are you talking about? Oh, are you here to beg for their lives? I'm sorry to disappoint, but the rules of the house change for no one. In my organization, everyone is responsible for their own actions. I, I think I think this is just misleading us to think that she will do it, but I don't think she will actually, you know. But don't you care about them at all? They really respect you. They even call you father. You must feel something for them. I'm on. Relax. Hold on. Hold Any on. organization in which feelings come before principles is one destined for ruin. The House of the Hearth is hardly an exception. You could say our principles are more stringent than most. Perhaps I can offer you this consolation at least. As our guests, you two will not be held accountable along with them. There's really no other way to solve these. I would things. imagine Linny, Lynette, and Fremenet will be able to keep their lives. <gasps> As for Filial, Nantoy, and the others, I'm afraid there's little I can do. They can try to escape, but once you know our secrets, there's no getting out alive. But... but that's... that's... that's awful! Ah, you seem concerned. Out of consideration for my guests, I suppose I could turn a blind eye for a little longer. Uh, but... Uh, but that, that, that's just prolonging the... the no. If Linny and the others manage to dispose of Claire V in the meantime, all evidence of their wrongdoing will be lost. In that case, I could hardly punish them for something I couldn't prove. Oh, hold on a minute. If we manage to figure this out... <gasps> if their efforts are unsuccessful, on the other hand, all will be held accountable. And the punishment will be severe. It's a deal, then. We will hold you to that. Of course. Oh, and here. I believe this belongs to you. Do try and keep better track of it next time. What? The bird? It takes a considerable amount oh. of time to train a bird like this. It would be such a pity if you were to lose it. Permanently. Okay, so you captured the... Okay, alright, you captured the bird. Good, good for you. Wait, where did you get that? It's, it's the bird that we released, yeah? Well, I'm afraid that's all the time we have to chat. Now, for the matter at hand. I asked you to meet me here because I have business at the Palais Mermonia. It has nothing to do with you, but I think it would be prudent for you to stick by my side for the time being. There will always be time later to run off and tell Linny what you've learned. Um, okay. Well, yeah, sure. time to go. Looks like we wrapped things up just in time. Alright. This seems to be very interesting. I don't know what the... Why is this not a main story, by the way? I feel like it should somewhat be a main story. But... Or maybe... Not. I don't I don't know. Maybe not, actually. Yeah, I, I don't know. It's just... Um... Mm, I mean, it's, it is a kind of a main story, just not an Archon story. Yeah. Makes sense, yeah. Because the Archon stories are like the, the big, big, big stories. Like, the patch stories. Like, you know? And they usually finish uh, within like 1.3 1, 1. or something like that. Like, uh, you know, within like 3 patches or something like that, then the, the story finishes. Because we finished this in 4.3, right? Then the whole story, I think, if I remember right. Chai? Major Nuvelet? Nuvelet? Mesurien? Mesurien? Nuvelet? What's going on? Oh! What's going on? What's going on? My it's been a while, Monsieur Nervalet. I must say, I wasn't expecting my meeting request to be approved quite so quickly. The Palais Mermonia operates with an efficiency worthy of admiration. It is only right that an esteemed diplomat such as yourself should be afforded the proper level of respect. 
Although, if I may speak plainly, I must confess that I did not anticipate we would have the occasion to meet again after presenting you with the Gnosis. The oratories that can meet in the least I see you brought the Traveler and Paimon with you as well. If I may inquire as to the purpose of your visit. I'll be departing Fontaine shortly. There is, however, an outstanding matter that I would like to see resolved before I go. It requires a rather lengthy explanation, I'm afraid. So I took the liberty of explaining everything in this proposal. Please review it at your leisure, Monsieur Nevelet. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> Okay, now we wait. Where's our tea? Hmm, I understand your request. However, at the risk of causing offense, I must admit that I fail to see why you would wish for such a thing. I heard you have a certain fondness for water tasting, Monsieur Nervelet. <laughs> so allow me to use water as an analogy. A family is like a large body of water with countless rivers flowing in and out. As someone who watches over this system, I would hope that each river that flows from the source will eventually reach the ocean. Okay. Of course, objectively speaking, I know this is impossible. Most of the rivers will dry up along the way, disappearing into the ground and leaving nothing but a barren riverbed behind. Not all rivers are destined to reach the ocean, but I would not see their existence rendered meaningless. I believe the water that flows within them is simply meant for a different destination, like a field in need of irrigation, or perhaps the glass of a certain water-tasting enthusiast. Um, did you get any of that, Traveler? Um... Kind of, I guess. Your words paint an optimistic picture indeed. Allow me to remind you, however, few among us are willing to sip from a glass among filled with us. tainted water. I, I hate the game Among Us now. Because everywhere I go, as soon as I hear Among Us, it's just the game that comes out in my mind. Like, it could be in conversations like this, just Among Us. You're like, hmm? <laughs> it may have been tainted at one I point in it. time, but not to worry. God dang it. I'll make sure it's strained of all impurities and returned to its cleanest form. Hmm. I seem to recall there being a transactional aspect to your proposal. Perhaps you could expound on that? If you accept my proposal, Monsieur Nevelet, I will gradually withdraw my forces from Fontaine. And, unless absolutely necessary, I will no longer carry out any special missions within Fontaine. I presume I can take your words to mean that, in the future, cases similar to the Tartuffe assassination will cease to cross my desk? Tartuffe? Ah, that thief who embezzled funds from all those charities, you mean? My deepest condolences to his family, but without any evidence, I cannot imagine how the House of the Hearth might have been involved in his passing. Of course, if you accept my proposal, Monsieur Nervelet, I'm sure certain measures could be taken to reduce the frequency of such troubles. You choose your words carefully, indeed. In that case, I am inclined to accept your proposal. My thanks for your generosity, Monsieur Nervelet. Well, with that settled, we should be going now. I took the liberty of bringing along two bottles of spring water from Snezhnaya for you to enjoy. <laughs> I do hope I get the chance to hear your impressions. Perhaps at our next meeting, yes? Indeed. I trust you would not overlook your commitment in the meantime. All right, Traveler Paimon. Time to go. All right. The Aram is your new is it on here? <gasps> Ooh. Did you taste the water? Let me hear it. I believe I've told you before that my emotions easily resonate with those of others. Yet in the few meetings I've had with that harbinger, I haven't been able to sense any aspect of her emotional state. 
Her mind is like a still body of water. Who knows what darkness lies in its depths, and the lack of ripples on the surface gives nothing away. It's unclear whether this is her natural state of being, or whether it's an incredible strength of will that gives her the ability to master her emotions. Either scenario, however, suggests she is a very dangerous individual. I do not expect an explanation as to why you two are by her side. Whatever your reasoning, I would only advise you to take caution. Thank you, Nulinet. Thank you. But you're all powerful. If something happened, like, uh, you would, uh, you would, like, help me, right? Right? Like, I'd like to know you, like, you know, if something happened, you would actually help me, right? 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 We are like best friends, right? Dra Mr. Dragon? Right? Right? <laughs> He's like, no. No help for you. I don't care about you. Leave. I'll just give you this. Be careful. But if something does happen, you guys get in a fight? A. A my problem. A my problem. Alright, 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 alright. So, I... Uh, what exactly were you talking about back there? Paimon only heard you mention some rivers, a large body of water, and then <laughs> some kind of irrigation scheme. You really want to know? I would imagine there might be more pressing concerns at the moment. <sighs> Winnie... Paimon really hopes everything's going okay. We can oh. only hope. Paimon recognizes that look. You've got your dinky cap on, don't you, Traveler? Dinky cap on. Nave may seem relaxed, but she didn't seem to be joking earlier. When she said those who betray the organization must pay with their lives. I think she's serious about punishing those chicks. How could we stop her? No, there's something else we could figure out first. While we were talking in front of the Palace Memoria, she mentioned uh, Clary's name. Does that mean she knew where Clary was this entire time? Maybe she even anticipated how Lenny and the other were going to act. Whoa! <sighs> Oh, shoot. Are you alright? Uh, I almost died, thank you. you pr your name is probably Pierre, huh? Oh, jeez. I'm so sorry. I was so focused on selling these papers, I wasn't looking where I was going. Look, he has a scar on him as well. Uh, my bad. Also wasn't paying attention. Well, let me make it up to you at least. Here, take this paper. On the house. Looks... Kind of familiar for some reason. He looks kind of familiar for some reason. Oh, you don't have to give us anything. Please, I Ooh, want ah. to. Sorry, it's not Anna. like I'm short on supply. All the extras will be useless come tomorrow anyway. It's my fault, really. I was just trying to bring home some extra mora for the family, but I bit off more than I can chew. I haven't had many takers today, so I'm still swimming in papers. What's going on here? Uh, nothing much. Uh, I just ran into your friend here on accident. I should probably get going, actually, so... Hmm. <laughs> Hold just, on. You're just a newsboy, huh? Um, of course, I'm happy to compensate you with Mora. It's just... I don't have any on me at the moment. I'll take three papers. Here. Your payment. Oh. Oh! Thank you for your patronage. May the Archons bless you with good fortune. If only okay. I had the chance to run into such generous customers every day. <laughs> I should probably just take on a smaller inventory though, right? I'm getting married soon, so sometimes it's hard to not get ahead of myself. Oh. Anyway, I should head out. Goodbye! Well, good luck with your marriage, bro. Goodbye, newsboy. Well, 
Now that my affairs are settled, we should take the boat back to Poisson. We've even acquired some light reading to enjoy along the way. Seems like it, yes. Actually, why don't we uh, stick around for a little longer? Uh, yeah, buying time. Let's go. Uh, Paimon just realized how hungry she is. She can't head back to Poisson on an empty stomach. Looks like Paimon is trying to buy us more time. If we head back now, I doubt many of the others will have made any progress. What should we do? It appears you two are under the impression that delaying our return will somehow alter the situation in your favor. I'm sorry to ruin your fantasy, but your efforts are meaningless. That being said, I could be persuaded to give Linny some extra time. I just have one condition. And? If you agree to my request, I'll even answer some of your questions. You're quite curious about Claire V, are you not? And my relationship to her. Wait, why are you being so generous all of a sudden? You're not gonna ask us to do something bad, are you? Okay, uh, t t tell me first what it was. You to... overestimate yourself. You don't have the talent for bad things. You don't know us. Uh, then what can you possibly. If we turn bad, Tayvaz would be no more. <laughs> the most important consideration in a negotiation <laughs> is that both sides receive something they want. Demands and threats only get you so far. Your conditions, let's hear it. Wonderful. Here it is. You, you lift the sound, it's dry, eh? When the time comes, make the choice that you deem most appropriate in the situation, and lend your help to the House of the Hearth. Huh? When the time comes, make the choice that you deem most appropriate in the situation, and lend your help to the House of the Hearth. Okay. Sounds normal enough, but what do you mean, when the time comes? When is that supposed to be? That is for you to decide. Well, um, we accept your condition. Then we have a deal. Follow me. Alright then. Alright, 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 alright. Right. Is it down here or was it up there? Oh god. Wait, was it up here? No, it's not, it's not, it's, it's literally over here. There's no even TP nearby, man. Mm, I'm gonna have to take this one. Ow. Even though the knave have a traveling form, I sometimes find myself just not using it uh, that much. It's like, like this one, this one. I want to compare it how fast it is. I mean, we have all the movement dodge right now in one team. That's kind of nice. Paimon, don't do it. Don't tell me. Don't you? Don't even try. Stop! I forgot how to get off this. Get off! Get off! I forgot how to get off it. <laughs> there you go. What is this place? Somewhere long forgotten by everyone. It used to be a grand building. Now it's nothing more than a pile of rubble. So, do we actually think it's connected to the animation? Because I feel like it definitely is. The more we keep going, I feel like it, it, it is. No one comes here anymore. Nor does anyone care about what once happened here. Although, this place does have something to do with the story I'm about to tell you. Oh yeah? It was before I became a Harbinger, and before Linny and the others joined the House of the Hearth. Due to certain events, I first killed Clairvy and then her mother. Oh. And this is where it all happened. Oh, oh my god, okay, whoa, shit. 
Jesus. Okay. Well. You were the one that killed Clearview. 